in Interstellar, they had Matthew McConaughey interacting with his timeline. So the premise was you go into a black hole and you have access to these higher dimensions. But starting back in ordinary life, we have three dimensions that we're familiar with. On a grid, you might think of it as what street in New York, what street, what avenue, and what floor in a building that you might meet someone. These are three coordinates that you would give. Remember, however, that any time you've ever made an appointment to see someone. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You would not give a time without a place, nor would you give a place without a time. So the actual coordinates to meet someone require four numbers, basically, four coordinates three space coordinates, and one time coordinate. You never said to your friend, I'll meet you at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Where? <laughs> you never said, I'll meet you at the corner of 33rd and 3rd. When? We know intuitively that we need a space and a time coordinate combined in order to have life unfold in any meaningful way. So the idea that we live in four dimensions should not be surprising to people. We take it for granted, actually. But the difference is that we are not prisoners of our three-dimensional space. I can walk left and right, I can jump up and down, I can walk forwards and backwards, and I can repeat that. I can access all points of my three-dimensional space, yet I am a prisoner in the present, forever transitioning from the past into the future. I have no access to the past. I have no access to the future. And so, if you go to a higher dimension, it's not unrealistic to think that you step out of the time dimension and now you look at time as though we look at space. So very questions that we have, very st statements that we make about our lives make no sense in that higher coordinate system. You can ask, when was I born? Well, you were always born. When did I go to college? You're always going to college. When did I die? You're always dying. And so, if your whole timeline is laid out in front of you, then you have access to it. And you can jump in at any point, relive it. Uh, we don't know yet if you can interfere with events that, quote, have already happened. If your whole timeline is just already there, what does it mean to jump into it and then change something? If it's already there. So these are fascinating questions that make great fodder for science fiction stories. And we don't know what's in a black hole, so take it and run with it.